now in Kenosha. At this hour, it's quiet after Friday's acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse. The 18-year-old Illinois teen found not guilty of several homicide charges for killing two people and injuring one other in unrest following the police shooting of Jacob Blake in 2020. But tension in that town continues as arguments grow over what the verdict really means. We must recognize that we are on the right side of history, no matter what those motivated by hate say. Another day of protest on the weekend following the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse. A smaller group compared to yesterday's Chicago march, but the message is the same, a refusal to accept the Rittenhouse verdict as justice served. The uncle of the Kenosha man, Jacob Blake, whose shooting by police sparked the unrest in which Rittenhouse shot three people, marching with the Rainbow Push Coalition and others, gathering outside the Kenosha County Courthouse, where the teen left a free man on Friday. The marchers stopping at the car lot, which had been scorched during those sleepless nights in August of 2020, and then through a quiet downtown Kenosha. Organizers promising a campaign of economic pressure. In a capitalistic society, capital makes a difference. There will be basketball games shut down. Go ahead. There will be football games Go shut ahead. down. Okay. There will be disruption, economic disruption behind this. There's not a fight that the Blake family doesn't want to be in around this country to help get African Americans what's overdue. In an interview this morning with Fox News, Kyle Rittenhouse's mother says his life will have its struggles as he seeks more schooling and fends off those who would want to hurt him. He does have remorse. But talking to him now, he would never walk down there if this ever happened again. He would never. In the aftermath of the criminal trial, now the civil courts may get busy. You may see some of the victims decide to, to sue Kyle Rittenhouse. Remember, the legal standard in a civil case, much lower than in a criminal case. And then, of course, there's the flip side of it, which is that Kyle Rittenhouse may end up suing people who said things about him. Uh, that he says were inaccurate. And in excerpts released today from a Fox News post-verdict interview with Rittenhouse, he says he supports Black Lives Matter and the right to peaceful protest. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.